Now, wherever my weight is, that's where I do the three-quarter shimmy. And because I'm starting with a bent knee, I can go right from there and do straight, bend, straight. So as the hip is traveling, I have straight, bend, straight. Release and... Another rhythm in the same kind of category is called Maksum. Maksum has one doom in the beginning and one doom in the middle, and it sounds like this. It's a wonderful instrument and it's supposed to be crying. And there is a legend about why the instrument cries. It's because it was in the earth, planted in the earth, and then human being came and cut it off from Mother Earth. And that's why it's always crying, wanting to go back. The keys, the body, like shape of half, pure, holds inside in order to resonate the sound and its sound. next rhythm you're going to hit it exactly on with a new step that'll match that rhythm. So here's an example of when the drummer goes from a fast rhythm to a slow rhythm. At a certain point I'll make this gesture. It literally means stirring up the pot. It can mean many different things in many different situations. In this situation, it's sort of like eat your heart out. So that's kind of like the feeling that she's giving to him or the gesture that she's saying to him. And a second shoulder roll, relax. Then you got a very quick accent, forward back with the shoulder. Then you're going to undulate. And as you undulate, you let this hand fall back until you're framing the hip like this. <laughs> I was very proud of myself, I did not make one wrong note. And the canoe is a difficult instrument because you play one hand here and the other hand eight notes apart and all these things look the same, you can't tell what's what. And he said to me, George, did somebody die in your family? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no.